Hi, uh, this is the first video in what I'm considering calling the Naive Value Investor Series, where I take a look at one public company at a time and attempt to, to value it or simply to screen it. So let's get to it. Uh, our, our method is going to be very peculiar and uh, hopefully improvable quickly over time. Uh, we're going to look at Brazilian companies right now. Apparently, Brazilian companies are still generally a little bit undervalued uh, as compared to the international market. So this could be a good time to look at Brazilian companies. So let's, let's do the first thing. Uh, I'm going to do this in Portuguese, so I'm writing Empresas Listadas Bovespa which is publicly listed companies Bovespa, which are, is our Brazilian stock exchange. Bit of a slow website here. So the first thing you'll notice here, we have uh, the initials and numbers, right? So as I said, this is the naive value investor. So what we're going to do here, we have 26 letters and 10 numerals, right? Uh, we're going to open another tab here, generate a random number. Get to this very helpful website here. Okay, they've changed their interface a bit. So we're going to go to from 1 to 36, right? 26 plus 10. Generate 3. So 3 is C. A, B, C. 1, 2, 3. Great. So we have C here, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, so we have a number of companies here. And once again, we're going to randomize these companies. Uh, so how do we figure out uh, how many companies starting with a C uh, are listed here? Well, we could, you know, just count them. I am a computer programmer, and I have a little tip for you. So if you look here, we have a lot of uh, table rows, right? Uh, inside T body here. So I'm going to do a little trick. You don't need to use this. Uh, let's see if it finds a T body. Yes, it does. Inside it, does it have table rows, TRs? Yes, great. And how many are they? So length. This is the, the secret here. Ninety-three, great. So we're going to randomize again. Fifty, great. So what do we do here? EQ. Well, let's just use fifty. There's a bit of a programmer thing there because it's zero indexed, but whatever. Let's take a look at this one, see what's it called. Uh, this is the name, Companhia do Saneamento, Saneamento do Paraná. So Paraná State, uh, probably a sewage company, water, something like that. Great. Uh, what we can do now is try to find this company on Google. So CIA. Saneamento do Paraná, uh, relações com investidores, which means investor relations. Yes, we have something here. Thank you. 
Great. So here, each company will have its own uh, website. Uh, some will look a lot like uh, the others, some won't. So our job here is to find uh, financial statements uh, since we value investors and uh, we're prone to looking at their fundamentals, right? Great. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, unfortunately, of course, most Brazilian companies won't have everything uh, bilingual, but I'm here to, to do the Portuguese part for you. There you go. Informações financeiras should be it. Uh, some will be extremely easy to, to find information for. Some will be extremely hard. So we have uh, DFP. Uh, DFP is a standardized uh, financial demonstration. It's kind of the official quarterly or annual uh, financial uh, summary of a company in Brazil. We can go here and we can go here. So there's no one way. I mean, of course, uh, you can go to, to other websites and try to get this information, uh, which we, we will. I'm not advocating at all one way to do this. Uh, so uh, this is um, uh, the asset balances. Let's see what they have here. Hmm, okay, so here's like assets, uh, liabilities, and this is actually what we want. So I think this may be the most important point uh, today. Once we can find information about a company, where do we start? Uh, I'm not going to, to at all try to teach you... Uh, value investing here I, i'm using this mostly to learn and and also to get feedback from viewers who may be interested in this and have even better approaches right so that's that's uh, uh keep that in mind but uh you can start by looking at anything really right in the end before you you invest in a company you probably will have to have looked at a lot of angles the first angle I tend to look at is debt over equity, right? So how much debt, it's not net debt, it's all kinds of debt divided by the company's equity. Uh, and there's a, a rule of thumb, which I've learned from Benjamin Graham, and it's very uh, well and succinctly explained by... Uh, a guy named Preston Pish, P-Y-S-H, who's put out amazing uh, YouTube videos explaining uh, the gist of, of investing. Uh, so we start by that. Uh, second most important point here is this rule of thumb. If you calculate a company's debt over equity, and it turns out to be above 0 0.5. So the company's debts are more than half of the company's total equity. Just steer clear from it. Okay. Uh, we can talk about the reasons. But uh, who would uh, even lend money to someone who owes half of what he has, counting everything the person owns? And he owes half. Uh, you just don't know uh, what's going to happen tomorrow. And with this background, uh, if it's not your relative and you don't need to save his life or her life, you would be well advised to, to just pass, right, on the opportunity. Great. Okay, so how do we do that? Uh, we go to the liabilities uh, side of the, the this report 
right? And this is a very naive way, very quick way to just screen out companies that don't apply, right? So usually you'll see uh, different years here, okay? Uh, or different trimesters, uh, which works, right? Uh, let's just take a look at the last available information here, which is like half of 2016. So usually in 2.01.01, .01, you have their loans, right? And 2.01.02, you have uh, debentures, which is... Uh, bonds or or the like they they have issue right so if you add these two up calculator huh right they are expressed in thousands okay so they have uh and we're gonna think about everything in millions okay so they have 113 plus 240 sorry 113 plus 240 so they have 353 million in debt okay uh usually you want to take a look at the whatever they they owe to to their uh fornecedores which are, are companies that that perform services or sell uh, goods to them uh also taxes owed and stuff uh, you may want to look at that they're not i don't consider them debt okay but they may just ruin a company so you look at that too in a, a later and you have a, an easier way to to look at the the, um, the total uh, equity. It usually goes. Uh, let me see here. Two sixteen. here uh, I don't remember if it's always 2.0.3 right uh, but so they say they have a net equity of 4 billion 318 great looks pretty good so we have again this is the debt so to speak divided by 4.318 okay let me do that again 353 divided by 4318 so we have a, a, a naive uh, debt over equity of 0 0.08 so looking through this very rough prism this company should not be ruled out it's a candidate for looking further, which we won't do today. Uh, if you want to, uh, you can go ahead on your own, and we can talk about this company uh, in further detail in the future. And hope to see you soon in other episodes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.